<laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to a video. It's me, Luba. It's me, Striker. Now, we've got two things to say in this video. Uh, the f we're going to give you an update as to what it's, uh, what's actually happening over here. As you can see, we're sitting in a uh, beach resort. By ourselves. By, by ourselves. It's all ours. <laughs> but, that's, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, It's good to have a bit of a, a way time. Um, but the first thing I'm going to say is that I've come up with this challenge, right? And I think it's going to be interesting for some of the guys out there who wonder how much it costs to live in Ukraine. So my challenge is, is that I'm going to see if I can live, for food-wise, I'm going to live on $15 a week groceries. Now, originally I said 10 because I think I can do it on 10 but Luba, I say 20 because he needs to eat properly. Yeah, she says that you're not going to eat properly for 10 and I said I think I can. She says I can't. So we decided with 15. So maybe next week or something like that, we're going to do like a little, go to, maybe go to Shopping. the market. I don't know where we'll do. Shopping. We're going to go, you know, it's going to be an amazing, <laughs> such an interesting shop. Um, do we have to agree on the times, like on the prices, on the market? Like give us cheaper. Yeah, yeah. We're going to, we're gonna, <laughs> no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it properly. Yeah. Like we're gonna, maybe we'll go to the market and get the meat because the meat's really cheap at the market and go to some good vegetable village shop. Or something like that but we'll see if i can have three squares a day now i don't eat breakfast normally um but for this i'm going to eat breakfast so it has to be three squares a day um see if we can do it perfect and today's update today is 22nd of may and it means that it's a new open up uh, stage for ukraine uh, with the quarantine so we are in arcadia and it's pretty busy like we've been walking we will show you some footage uh, clubs are open up a little bit and from 13 of uh, June they announced that they're gonna be a concert um, in Ibiza so they, uh, they say that the restaurant will only work in the lounge so they will sell only limited amount of tickets uh, but uh, hotels are open up from today public transportation that is important because people are uh, going to work and it was struggle a little bit um, kitten gardens are open from Monday uh, James I said uh, team plays like uh, sport teams uh, will be able to play if they have less than 50 people and without viewers um james why are you repeating like i just want i have an urge to go um, that's good yeah. like is it, there is the good like when you go down arcadia there's nobody really wearing masks not really in the shops and that's that, that's pretty much it but you can feel summer can't you, you yeah can, you can feel summer's Very. coming everyone's cleaning like the the clubs and putting out fixing chairs and stuff like that so you still need to wear the mask if you go to the bank or you need to some public mm. places uh, they say that at the beach they're gonna have the distance between people like two meters I'm not sure how they're gonna do that it seems that That'll they already like yeah uh, make it work but it's not with the distance but uh, we'll see but we, we just oh, do we, sorry do we know anything about like airports I yes think we like for example i have an information about greece and greece is like kind of resort and it seems that not so far from here so uh they gonna open up from first of july and they will accept flights from all over the place so the hotel starts working they just open up their borders for tourists yeah so. and they're gonna be no two weeks quarantine like this is important because nobody wants to come on vacation and stay somewhere uh, for the isolation so it's a good news and we hope that maybe Ukraine will also announce something closer to 22nd of uh, June, I guess, because uh, mm. 22nd of June is like another stage of open up and maybe they're gonna be something. Yeah, they have the announced. stages, don't they, that they've put in place. Yeah. I have a couple of guys who already bought tickets for August, so they purchase, uh, purchase them and they uh, put the insurance on that. They just do it on their risk, like I didn't yeah. uh, promise anything, but they just think that uh, August is gonna be the time when they can come to Ukraine. So yeah, so that's it for now. So, But we hope that you stay healthy and safe and we see you next time. Subscribe to the channel. And put your likes. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.